AFTV Shah, we're through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. Uh, happy? Of course I am. Listen, we want to be going through. We want to be winning trophies. It's absolutely fundamental. And it was actually a really good performance mm. from us as well, especially in that first half with the rotation of the team, bringing on the likes of Sago as well. Mm. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, who I think played really, really well. He was great, wasn't he? Exactly. Not having Saka there, you know, everyone sort of gets concerned, you know, there's no Saka. But actually, I don't really feel like there was much drop off in quality. I feel like he handled that right hand side really good. And I was really, really proud of him. Great, great performance. Great debut for him as well. Listen, there was a few performances today. He was one of them. Um, really good for Reese Nelson and Smith Rowe to get some minutes in their legs. What did you make of them two tonight? Really happy to see both of them start. I was actually hoping that Emil Smith-Rowe would get a start because mm. it's been a very, very long time since he actually started a Premier League game. So great to see him on and it was a great performance from him. He looked confident. He looked sharp. He had energy. Reese Nelson, I'm a massive fan of Reese mm. Nelson. I have been for a number of years. I think he's an absolute quality player. Great performance. He's actually my man of the match for okay. today as well. Fantastic goal from him and... So happy to see him start. Great stuff. Listen, we were good going forward. I thought we pressed. I thought Eddie deserved a mention as well in terms of his work rate. But defensively tonight impressed me, Shah, because we know what this Brentford side's about. It flings balls in a box. It makes things difficult for us. Defensively, we had to be on it. And I thought we were, man. Yeah, exactly. We really did have to. They have got some massive threats. We saw Embuemo. We saw Wissar. We saw Jensen with them long throws as well. And we made some crucial blocks as well. Great defending. Kivior as well. Great um, yeah. block from him. Really good save from Aaron Ramsdale. You know, there's been so much talk going <laughs> on with the goalkeeping situation. Obviously, David Rea coming in for Ramsdale. So to see Ramsdale go out there, perform at the level he did, make them crucial saves that he does is absolutely fundamental for him to get the clean sheet as well. Just shows that his confidence hasn't dropped at all. He's a professional athlete and he's done amazing tonight. What happens now? Because he's got a big decision to make now, Mikel. You know, he says he hasn't got a number one. Ramsdale puts in a performance like that. Unbelievably good save. And there was something about his performance tonight that just does a little bit of confidence and a little bit of class. So what would you do at the weekend? Do you know, as an Arsenal fan, I must say, firstly, I am so happy that we have got two great mm. goalkeepers, two really good quality keepers. Uh, as a manager, um, I don't know, that must be a really tough decision when you've got two keepers that are such great quality. I'll say they're on the same level mm. in terms of quality. Um, I think perhaps what we need to do is differentiate the two mm -hmm. um, so there isn't any form of um, favouritism. Perhaps have one playing in like the Champions League game and the Cup games and then one playing in the Premier League. Um, which one takes which, I don't really know. My gut instinct is perhaps have Ramsdale playing in the Premier League and have David Raya playing in the Champions League. I don't know. It's a hard decision to make. But I think Aaron Ramsdale deserves a start on mm. Saturday against Bournemouth. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. And to be fair, it's a difficult one. I wouldn't want to have to make it, if I'm honest. And it's going to be tough for Mikel. Listen, um, this competition, I've said I want to win it. I want to win every trophy. Um, I think it's vital that we win something this year. Right, because we're talking about the Premier League and the Champions League and both of the domestic cups that so we're all in. I really feel like with Manchester City now going out that we have a great chance of winning this shot. Oh, absolutely. Let's not underestimate any other teams that's also in the of competition course. as well. But I want to win things as well, Dan. Like, it's an amazing feeling when you're able to lift a trophy mm. and have those bragging rights to say we won X, Y and Z. So absolutely, every competition that we're in, I want to be seeing it through all the way to the end. We don't come into any game to lose. Mm. Yeah, if it's the Premier League, we're coming to collect all three points. If we're coming in a cup game, we want to be winning that game. So 100%, I want us to clean up. I want us to win everything that we can win. And yeah, let, let, let us be favourites. <laughs>